Hello and welcome to This Day. I'm BJ Arnett, your host. Thank you so much for joining us. Have you, as a woman, ever felt like you were alone, that no one was there to help you in your time of need? Maybe you're a single mother, maybe you were a single mother, or maybe you're just a working mom, husband's right there, but somehow you just feel like, I need a little bit of help. Well, don't feel alone. No longer do you have to feel alone. There's a place where you can get advice, where you can get a smile, where you can even get a hug, I'm sure, if that's what you need. And I want you to meet the lady who is responsible for making the charge go forward. She is Carolyn A. Watson. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Ms. BJ, for having me. I'm yes. so excited to be have this opportunity to be with you today. I am excited <laughs> because I feel like I know you. I and, know. And, and, and it must be Holy Spirit because I don't know what else to say, but I know you. Right, right. I feel the same way. You are the executive director of Helping Oppressed Mothers Endure. Yes. And that is quite a title in itself, and, and uh, the acronym is HOME. Correct. So there's always a reason. Yes that we have organizations of help. But what is the sole foundational reason of this organization? Well, Ms. BJ, I have to say that it started when I was a nine-year-old little girl. Even though I didn't know at the time that God was gonna create a ministry from that, uh, my mom and my father, um, she was in a domestic situation, domestic abuse, and that's how we grew up. For us, that was the norm. That's mm -hmm. all I knew. Mm -hmm. And at the age of nine years old, she decided to escape with two little girls and two suitcases. Mm. And she started life all over with absolutely nothing. And that very thing stayed in my heart. It stayed on my mind. And many years later, God made it clear to me that this is what I was supposed to do with my life. So I created home. You are saying to me that your mother left home at what age? She left, well, she left home when I was nine years old. Mm -hmm. And um, she was, had been in a marriage, an abusive marriage. Mm -hmm. And um, she had left a few times and he had brought her back. And this last time she left, she decided to go far, far, far away. Far, away. Far, far away. That's right. Mm -hmm. And she left and she went to California and she had nothing. Um, but us, the two, two youngest, mm -hmm. and she started over. And I just remember her struggling to try to get this and try to get that and try to get a place to stay and try to, you know, just make sure we had everything that we needed. And so I remember that. I remember the, the, the plight of her life at that time. And I didn't know, like I said, that God was going to use that in a much greater way. In a much greater way and to help so many. It is helping oppressed mothers endure. Yes. So uh, there is the helps part, but the endurance, yes. <laughs> that's the long journey. Yes, it that is. That is called uh, discipleship, Amen. walking alongside right. and in the place where we don't feel great, where, where, where when we're running, we, we may not look great, smell great, be great at all, that's but right. we have endured. That's right. And we need someone to endure with us. Absolutely. Speak to me about the uh, everyday operational systems of the organization so well, that people get an understanding of what you do and how it helps. So what HOME does, and let me back up just a little bit because I was a, 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 a a teen mother myself mm -hmm. and I had a baby at 17 years old and I know now that it was part of the ministry God wanted me to know what it was like intimately mm -hmm. to be carrying a book bag and a baby bag and a baby <laughs> and you know going to school and leaving there and going to work just trying to struggle to make it happen yes. and so fast forward many years later you know God gave me that name at 5 11 a.m. I had written home in my Bible home is where the heart is I'd written that 12 years prior and in 2014, God woke me up at 5.11 a.m. And then I woke my husband up at 5.12 a.m. And I said, you know, I know what I want to do with, you know, my life, helping oppressed mothers endure. God gave me that name, just mm. as clear as I'm sharing it with you right now. Mm. And so what we did, I didn't even know, it took several years for me to realize that it was a furniture bank. Um, and so we just started providing what people needed and it came by way of furniture. Wow. And so once we started doing that, uh, we went from giving, providing furniture, and these are for single moms who are not just sitting at home. Mm -hmm. These are moms who are working every day, going to school, you know, striving for betterment of life. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we come in and we provide everything they need to start life anew. 
from sofas to linen, towels, pots and pans, dinette sets. That in itself everything is, they is need. such a help. Because I think about the I was a single mom myself, uh -huh. and I think about how many uh, sister friends yes. I needed yes. to help me get organized, and how many women I was able to help in giving furniture and giving pots and pans and those those kind of things where we can establish a home environment. Yes. yes. We tend to thrive in that. Absolutely. So that is fantastic, yeah. just to say the least. Right. What are some of the results of having the opportunity to minister to women in this way? Giving yes. has its own reward. Absolutely. You know, God has been so, so good, you know, and it has gone in in a direction that I had never expected it to. Because not only do we help with furniture, but it's opened doors for us to be able to have a coat drive. We partner with, you know, other organizations to provide coats. Burlington is one of them. We just, you know, we have this huge coat drive. We have a, 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 a prom dress giveaway. Yes. We do so much, but bringing it back to the individual mom. I have seen so many tears and so many, received so many hugs from children just to make sure that because they now have a bed, mm -hmm, they mm -hmm. now have a place where they can sit and, and eat together, watch television together. I mean, because we provide everything. Wow. But even more than that, many of our moms stay in contact with us. Mm -hmm. And they still, you know, we still send out things, adopt a home family at Christmas time. We provide toys. The list goes on and on and on. And it's all unto the glory of God because he did it. You know, it's his vision, it's his ministry, and all I'm doing is trying my best to operate in it. Well, I, I love it. What year did you say you started this and vision? September the 14th, 2014. 2014. <laughs> now that you look back and you see all that you all have been able to accomplish out of the last Thonia, Georgia area. Yes. Where do you see you going in the next three to five years and growth of this organization? Well, this movement really. It, it truly is a movement because where we thought the pandemic would leave us with nothing, with the, because everything stopped. When the pandemic hit, everything stopped. The donations, no one was calling, the phone wasn't ringing. And then all of a sudden we got this call and said, hey, we're from a, from a celebrity that said, we're just checking on home. Do you have what you need? And he provided, and it was Colin Kaepernick, he provided everything that we needed to keep the doors open. Wow. And then from that, it expanded. So now we no longer serve the 10 metro Atlanta areas. We now serve Savannah and South Carolina. We have a delivery coming up from South Carolina, you know, this weekend. And so we're able to go to other parts of Georgia now mm -hmm. um, because we have been able to recreate what we do. And for those who live outside of the city, they come here to pick up their furniture. I so know. it has allowed us to just be such an amazing blessing to so many moms that need it most. You know, what? what is so uh, wonderful about it also is that uh, you get to see the smiles and you, yes, you see the I love it. and you see the change yes. that just the simplicity of being able to set your home yes. makes in a person's life Absolutely. and the children's lives. Yes. There is that point of transformative living that you can see through this. That is a moment of transformative living. When you as an organization, uh, organizational leader, mm -hmm. see all of this happening and you <laughs> think back and you roll back in your mind, as I was a single mom, my mom ran off with the two of us. Yes. What in the world do you think to yourself? <sighs> to be honest, I say to God be all the glory because I could not have ever created this on my own. Mm -hmm. From the name of it to what we do, how we do it, he just keeps on doing great things for home. And you know, I have led moms to Christ. I have, you know, had the opportunity to uh, just just a month ago, we were able to give bless a mom with a car. Oh. Just it just keeps going and going and going, and God keeps on getting the glory. This is another part of it. What you and I are talking about here today, just being able to bring awareness to what we do, is huge because these are moms that are sitting next to you in church, but you don't know that they're going home exactly. to broken homes. That's right. They look good. They in many cases they look good and they smell good. That's right. But they're going home and them and their children are sleeping on the floor or huddle up in one bed, you know, just trying to, you know, get through to the next day. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's just... It's just the grace of God that blesses us to be able to keep on doing his work. And it is ministry. And where I see it in the next few years, I mean, 
I, I, you know, God, cre you tell me what the vision is because sometimes I just don't know. I just move in the direction that I, that he calls me to. And when I hear that voice, that still small voice that I know well, I move in that direction and he does the rest. You know, there, there's, uh, it just it makes me smile, just the whole thought of it. But the, uh, the thing that I was thinking about as you were speaking is you've changed so many lives and so many yeah. families. And it, it is a change that just doesn't affect the mom, it affects the children, but it will also affect their children. Yes. The way your story of your mom leaving with you and right. your uh, sibling when you were such a small child right. affected you. This will affect these children right. in such a fantastic way. There are so many things that uh, people can do that uh, can help your organization. Yes. But how do they get to you? What do you need now? And my goodness, if, if, if um, Mr. Kaepernick can do it. Everybody can. There you can. And he's not even here in Georgia. He's not even here. <laughs> How in the world did he find out about you? I have no, You know what? The very name that they said, someone told me when I first started this, you need to take oppressed out of the name because people don't really know what that is and it just sounds awkward, but that's the name I understood that he used to find us. And, uh, wow. yes, exactly. So, so had you, oh my right. goodness. I just stayed the course because I knew it was God. Yeah. And so, and it's from that name that he has been, you know, a part of home. He will always be a part of home. He's how we ended up in a warehouse. You know, we started this from a pickup truck and my home. Mm. My husband was so gracious about it, who I love very much. Hey, baby, wherever you are. <laughs> um, he was so gracious. You know, my home was our first warehouse. Wow. And, and his pickup truck. And we were delivering furniture literally in a pickup truck. Mm. And God just opened doors and, and made ways. And, you know, now we are, you know, two box trucks and a warehouse. And, you know, we're not where God is taking us, but, you know, we are much further than where we started. Well, what, do, what can people do right now to help? Right now, they can help by volunteering. Mm -hmm. They can help by donating furniture. We only take gently used furniture because we don't put anything in their home that, that we don't put, put in our own, own home. So That's we don't right. want what they don't want. Right. We want what they don't no longer need. Mm -hmm. And um, so you can help by donating furniture. We do pick up at no charge. Um, we have events throughout the year. We have a 5K walk, you know, that we do annually. So we'd love for you to come out and participate. Uh, you can always go to our website, sign up to be on our newsletter, and you'll see all the different things we do. We do Home for the Holidays, which is a, a Ladies Tea Social, where we honor ladies, some of the women that have come through our program. Mm -hmm. We honor them at the end of the year. So, you know, we have the coat drive. So there's many opportunities to volunteer. And then there's always an opportunity to give because those little things that we don't get, you know, we can always purchase, you know. And so, you know, there's those ways that we that you can connect with home and be a part of the home family. I love it. There's so many good things that you guys are doing and, so, and, and such a wonder, wonderful effect on people's lives. It is hometoheart.org, and yes. that is numeral two, not the word two, That's numeral right. two. You home, got it. <laughs> the numeral two, uh, heart. Dot org. And I want to thank you again, Carolyn Watson, for being here today and sharing your heart and your journey because this is no small feat. And when God says go out and do something, he always puts the provision right there in front of you. And I just think about the fact that had you taken the word oppressed out, yes, the results would not have been the same because what he said was helping oppressed mothers endure. Amen. And what God says, he means. And That's what right. he says, he has already made a platform for. Amen. So he has given you the opportunity to help hundreds and thousands of, of women throughout. Now I'm going to speak it out throughout the Southeast, throughout America, and we thank you for what you have been called to do. In Jesus' name, I Amen. receive it. That's so cool. You. That yes, is so very is. cool. <laughs> so if you want to help, if you have gently used furniture, this is not what you don't want. It's what you really don't need. It's something that you wouldn't mind giving to your best friend. So just consider the fact that someone needs what you might have and send it over, ship it over, however you can get it done. Let's make sure we do it. All right. We thank you so much for joining us. As always, I'm BJ Arnett and this is This Day. We'll see you soon. God bless you.